So I've received all the bushings and materials that I ordered uh, from this weekend. And also decided to take some stuff apart. And I decided to just wait and instead of trying to pedal around with the front ski, uh, just do it right. So I took the bottom bracket off, took the crank off. Uh, mainly so I could figure out what I'm doing for the pedal rests or pegs or whatever you want to call it. And I'll get into that later. Uh, but for now, we're going to focus on my solution for rotation on the skis. And I'll show you the front axle. It's easier. So we've got these bushings. They're different sizes, front and rear. They're pre-impregnated with oil, and you can also additionally lubricate them, but... So basically what I've got is I decided to do a, a little bit of an interesting setup. Um, basically I'm going to cut some of the material for this, for the inner and the outer bushing. And that'll act as a spacer or a seat. And then I've got a long piece of material in the middle that'll actually go down and connect to the ski. Um, and the reason I did the multiple piece here is that it gives room for these spacers. So that way you can kind of pre-tension the center sliding piece, center piece as it rotates. Um, I'm going to try, the first time I ride it, I'm going to try it without any kind of centering mechanism. Uh, either a shock or an elastomer or something. I'm going to try to do it with just purely tension on the bushings. I won't really know how well that works until I get some, some quote-unquote miles on it. Um, so I, I'm going to do this front and rear and see where that gets us. And we cut. We cut two pieces here for the outer shims and then we're going to cut the middle piece. the sleeve over the bear or the bushing. So I use my hand to dandy press here to do that. already pressed the other one in so now we're gonna put these in and measure the middle So I've got these pressed in. It's a very tight fit on the axle, which is actually what I want. Uh, but we have to, I want to measure the center section first and then cut that. And then basically try to ream the center section to where it's a looser fit and the shims are a tighter fit. Okay, it looks like 2.525 inches is where we want to cut the center length to. So we'll go do that next. Since pressing these sleeves on has tightened up the tolerances a bit on these bushings, I don't have a lathe, so I had to come up with a way to ream the inside of the bushings out a little bit. And I took some sandpaper that's supposed to go on the back of a six inch sanding pad and I stuck it to a drill bit that's pretty close to the diameter and I've been reaming it out with that. So far I have 
the spacer bushings. They're pretty good. Well, they're, yeah, they're perfectly tight, which is fine. I'd rather have them a little bit too tight as long as I can get them on and off. So now I get to try to ream the center section out, which is cut and pressed. And it's still a bit tight, so I gotta, gotta ream this out a bit more. Down, letting it rotate so that way I'm not oblonging it, at least if I am, as little as possible. I don't want to hear any shake weight jokes. But that's basically the movement we're doing here. Just try to get the ream out nice and smooth. That's pretty good. Flip to the other side. Well, already it's already going up the whole shaft. <laughs> go too loose, but I do want the center section looser than the outside, so we're going to try it now. Uh, still a bit tight. Ooh, it actually cooled off and started to grab. Tolerances are pretty tight on this, even cooling off just a little bit after that grabs onto that shaft. So we'll do a little bit more. Just like that. Nice and free spin. Now the cool thing is with the skis, you're only going to get 45 degrees of rotation or so on this. So we don't have to get knots with the actual, you know, it isn't a wheel bearing. It's not going to move as much as a wheel. So now we can bolt this together. So there's a specific order. You have the axle through the fork, spacer, shim, center, shim, ooh it's a tight fit, I gotta pick up the bike a little bit here to get this in, but it goes. Good. And there we go. Now the center is under a little bit of pressure, which is what I wanted. And it lets me tighten things down. So that way it can rotate freely. Or you can put a little bit of tension on it and it'll rotate like that. But here we go. Give you, guys, give you guys a view from the front. Pretty clean and simple. So from there we drop down to the ski. So that's the idea. I'm gonna do that a certain way. Um, because this material is pretty thin, I'm gonna do a sleeve as well with some thicker material just to help spread some load. So I'm gonna use some, some DOM. 
that I have from roll, from roll cages and stuff. Use, use some of those. But we're going to do the rear now that we're on the same path, and we'll get the rear set up as well. All right, got the rear set up. Doing the same style as the front. Shim, centerpiece. You can see the bushings pressed in. squeeze there but there it is it's right in there Oops. there we go you can see the center Independently of the of the spacers, and that'll allow everything to flex. Real clean and simple. And this is thick enough where I don't need to run a sleeve or anything, so the evaporator got right at, well, right to the center of that. So here we are front and rear with adapted axles and we just need to connect skis at that point. From here it's just welding. <laughs>